What is going on fishing bros and broettes? Today we're going to talk about a hot topic for spring and early spring. Probably the most fish catching rig that you can set up, especially when it comes to fishing a little bit slower. Because sometimes in spring we get those cold fronts, kind of like today, you can see it's kind of like gray outside, and the water temp goes down and those fish stop reacting today. Your chatter baits, your lipless crankbaits, your square bills. And that guy is this one right here. Probably one of the most fish catching baits. And not just in spring, it's throughout the year. It's the wacky rig. And th there's some real basic ways to do it, which we're gonna talk about. But we're also gonna get into a little bit more, uh, you come to this channel for a little more detail, right? A little more of a sort of in-depth breakdown. And that's exactly what I'm gonna give you today. Cause I'm gonna show you some ways to wacky rig and present that bait in that wacky style that you might not have ever thought of. So we're gonna start with the basic way to wacky rig and literally there is nothing wrong with doing it this way. It catches fish nine times out of 10. It is standard, but the reason it's a standard is because it works. So what you're gonna do is take a stick bait. It can be any stick bait. You know, this is a six inch fat ace. I have stuff that's all the way down to little tiny Domeki stingers like this, four inch stick baits, five inch stick baits, finesse worms like your zoom trick worm but all you're going to do is you're going to take your stick bait you're going to find the worm sac which is usually a little smooth part right in the middle of the worm and you are going to pass that hook right through there just like that and you can see it makes that that u sort of presentation that's your most basic way to wacky rig it's weightless what's really cool is you can skip it in under a dock you can skip it to the bank you can make a long cast with it and versus say a Texas rig or a jig, it's not gonna sink immediately. It's gonna do this slow kind of undulating flutter as it goes to the bottom. So you're covering really that higher water column. And what I've found, especially in spring, those fish kind of look up, you know? They might be on the bottom, but they're not really eating stuff off the bottom or they're on a bottom where you can't fish something on the bottom because it's muddy, because that mud warms up quicker in the spring and they want that warmer water. So you're on like a shallow flat, there's a lot of gunk on the bottom, a lot of sediment. A wacky rig is a perfect solution. But let's talk about a little more like kind of nuanced, like technical wacky rigging. So one thing that you can do, and one thing I've been playing with, because I fish for spots a lot more, as well as smallmouth here up in North Alabama, is playing with a rig called a Nico rig. A Nico rig is a modified wacky rig. And the biggest difference with a Nico rig is basically you're adding weight to your wacky rig. So I got my standard wacky rig right here. And I like to use, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I like to use, these are Domeki Nico rig weights. Um, what's cool with these guys is they have kind of a, a sort of nail like puncture. So basically they go in and you can't pull them out. You are gonna lose some, especially if you catch a big fish and they're flopping around, they end up getting kicked out. But what you'll do is you'll take this thing. If I want a lot of weight, I'll leave that ball head on there. If I want a little less weight, I'll just take a wire clippers and I'll clip that ball off and I basically have a nail weight. But you're gonna look for the flat tip of your stick bait. And all you do is go ahead and you pass that in just like that so it's flush against there. And what you're gonna have is basically a sideways shaky head. So when you cast that thing in, this bait is gonna go straight down like that to the bottom. Or if you're using like the lighter sort of nail weight, it's going to slowly flutter to the bottom. It's a great way to go after like suspended fish because you can shake it as it goes to the bottom. And if you're fishing deeper, say than five feet, six, seven feet of water, you're able to actually access 12. 15, 20. I've caught fish on a Nico rig like this on spotted bass down to like 40 feet of water. And they're literally eating it as it's going down and I'm kind of shaking it as I go up. It's a great way to get them when they're kind of up off the bottom. Some cool baits that you can do this with too. We already mentioned the Domeki Stinger is kind of interesting. I think a lot of guys really get stuck on like a four inch and a five inch stick bait because it is super standard and it works all the time. But you can go as small, especially with a Nico rig, it's like a little three inch stinger like this, super tiny. You put that weight in the head and you just kind of flick it and it has this little kind of shake as it goes to the bottom. Great for, for, for spotted bass, great for smallmouth. Another kind of interesting way that you can do this too is the new, and this is something I've been playing around with, is the new power ned. Um, a lot of this is about kind of like the tail or that side kicking action. So that power ned has that flat 
yet pointed tail. So what ends up happening is you put your weight on that Nico rig into the side and as it sinks, this thing, as you can see, the tail is awesome on this thing. So it just shakes as it goes down, but it's kind of falling in that sort of glide style, I guess, pattern that we really like to get in spring when these fish aren't super, I guess, active. They don't want all these kicking appendages. They just want that, that soft shake as it goes down. The other thing too that you can do bait wise, let me see if I've got one. Yeah. So a, a standard for spring and really any time of the year if you want to catch bass is a fluke, right? And this is one that I don't see a lot of guys doing and I like to do. Um, if you're looking for a little more bulk on your, on your wacky rig, taking a fluke and putting basically either a weight in there or fishing it weightless, you can skip it just like a stick bait, but you're getting more of that bait fish or that minnow style presentation and there's a little more weight to it. I will warn you though, when you actually do twitch this thing back, there's a lot more drag because there's a lot more flat-sided plastic here. So you retrieve, you feel like you're kind of like tugging a bulldozer a little bit. It's got a little more drag, but something cool about that is it actually slows down your presentation even further than using a stick bait. And I, I will tell you, if you guys like sight fishing and you do some wacky rigging like on a bed, this guy in like a minnow or like a little shad kind of pattern like that or even like a, a green like bluegill absolutely killer dude so the one sneaky thing that i do when it comes to wacky rigging we've talked about kind of the circle hook weightless what about when you want to get that bait super deep but you still want the bait to have a weightless presentation I actually do a wacky rig drop shot, and I think it's kind of unique. I know other guys have done it, but basically with a wacky rig drop shot, all you're doing is setting up your drop shot standard, so you got your little circle hook just like that. But instead of, of Texas rigging or just running that bait like through the nose, I guess, so it'd be just like this, where you're running it through the nose, Instead of nose hooking your stick bait or your finesse worm, you're actually going to hook it right through the worm sack right in the middle. And then what you can do is you can pick a drop shot weight, say a quarter ounce, an eighth ounce, three eighths ounce, and you'll have more weight at the bottom so you can make long casts and drag that wacky rig across maybe a mushy bottom, even a hard bottom, but you're getting that, that weightless presentation where you can shake that worm for I don't know, four to 10 inches above the bottom, a foot and a half above the bottom. And you're, that bait has a very natural fall. So you can sit there, shake it, shake it, let it fall. And it does that, that quivering kind of wacky fall to the bottom. Absolutely killer presentation. Spotted bass or deeper largemouth, like around docks and things like that. If they're relating to the post and you want to kind of pitch it around, killer presentation. Wacky wig is super powerful though, because it is that, that finesse, very slow moving, methodical presentation. It, it's kind of annoying to fish, there's no doubt about it because it is so slow, but you can get some really big bites and especially when you have fish that aren't reacting to that chatterbait, that lip list, that square bill, your power fishing style baits. It's an awesome tool. Last thing that we're gonna wrap up with is, is what I actually fish this thing on. You, you probably won't be too surprised because you guys have heard about this rod before. This is a 610 Halo KS2 Medium. Now. You normally, guys will throw like a wacky rig on say like a 7 foot, a 7 two. The reason I like a little shorter rod, I love the action on this rod, but the other reason is one of the best things to do with a wacky rig is to skip it. And we kind of mentioned it in the video. That little bit shorter rod allows me to make that, that nice little roll cast. We talked about it with skipping a chatterbait. That roll cast to get stuff under a dock, under a tree, to get it in those tight little places. It allows me to be more accurate. I have a Daiwa, this is a BG, you know, hundred dollar I'll put links to all this stuff too in Tackle Warehouse down in the description box if you want to check any of it out but general kind of mid-range sort of spinning reel decent drag on it but one of the most important components is it has braid to a fluorocarbon leader that no stretch a lot of times these fish because they're in kind of a lethargic mood they'll snatch that wacky rig and you won't even know they're on there you'll never feel a bite you'll never feel anything all you'll have is dead weight so you're using the rod tip as well as that no stretch braid to really let the rod load up in order to hook these fish but Try yourself some wacky rigging. It's a killer presentation as we move into spring. It works all the way throughout summer, especially if you're dealing with kind of finicky, sort of suspended or uh, ledge fish. But we're going to revisit that down the road when we do some offshore fishing when the water warms up. But if you got some fish, you've been catching them on your power fishing baits, and they're not responding to them anymore, but you know they're still in the area, grab yourself a wacky rig, slow down, 
Use that methodical presentation and you're gonna catch some bass, especially if they're on beds, dude. Absolutely killer presentation on beds. Try a Nico rig, try a wacky rig, go catch some fish. Tight lines, guys.